through there. Oh. I'm out on the Ibis DV9 today at what used to be some impressive dirt jumps. Now it looks like they have been abandoned, probably because the parking area you used to be able to use has been taken over by some new houses. There is a mountain bike trail you can ride to get here. No problem on this, but I wouldn't want to be taking a BMX bike on them. So I'm going to go see what I can find. Well, that was a really fun run into the step up. A few berms, a little jump in there, but it is really hard to get speed for. Everything's a little soft right now. This is a really steep takeoff and a pretty good sized step up to the landing. So it's not as much air time as I expected. Probably won't be able to pull off anything too cool, but I'll have some fun. Oh. <laughs> Well, I haven't done a toboggan there for quite a while. I've never on this bike. It's always different bar to seat ratio and didn't get any that good. Got way too close to hand on one hit and almost hit her. But now I'm going to try to hit this. The jump is running better, getting a little more speed, a little more pop. But this time I'm going to try to stay low and explode this here weed. Well, I would like to keep hitting that and work on my style a bit, but we don't have a lot of light left. And there's this perfect kind of steep table hip sort of thing. So... Got to check this thing out. Try to air it straight over here. <laughs> kind of weird feeling, but tried to pop it up and then drop the nose. Pretty fun, actually. Now I'm thinking about this hip, and maybe I'll start with a foot plant here. Well, I haven't done one of those in a long time either, but it's actually pretty fun. Not sure how it looks, but feels different, so that's good. It's fun to mix it up once in a while. Now I'm thinking about jumping, spinning 90 to the left, and landing fakie. Whoa! <laughs> Thought I was just gonna roll around the whole berm there. That would be pretty sweet, but it would probably take way too many tries. Oh my gosh. Can't believe how close that was, but it is going uphill. Big angle. There's no way that's gonna work, is it? Totally did it. Totally doing it. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, if I could just get to right here. Well, I would have liked to get a little bit further, gone faster and smoother. That's how it always is with me, so I think I'm gonna settle for that. I was, did not expect to be able to pull that off even that well. This is so steep, soft, not that grippy, hard to tell where you're at. It's just a weird move, but it felt pretty cool to me. The dirt jumps were fun and all, but this looks pretty fun too. And it's basically the opposite of a dirt jump. I just realized I could probably gap this, so gotta get a little trousy. Totally unplanned, but that lined me up perfect for the log ride. I know those were not the best dirt jumps, but still a whole lot of fun on this bike. And jumping around like that kind of makes me want to go to a skate park. So that's where we'll head to next. We are at the skate park now, and there's a perfect sidewalk to wheelie in with a rock in the way. So got to hit that too, right? There we go. Should be a good time here. I'm going to continue that wheelie theme, see if I can get this half circle they'll hop in there but that's okay drop the dropper for a bit of trials turn on the rear there we go and back throw the seat up wheelie back to the end be pretty happy to get that first try nice here is a little different style wheelie going for the manual here skate parks are a great place to practice those take a little manual break for front wheel maneuver here oh I actually don't know how much I should do these on this fork it's such a thin light fork that it has me worried but I got to do a few of them right it actually feels a little more solid than I expected I'm sure it's not designed for that though this one might take a few tries backwards wheelie across 180 down in. Almost. Oh. There we go. All right, back to a bit of a trials move here. Oh, side hop. Glad back there hopping. 
and then peel it off. Gotta try to get a little BMXy now. Oh, those are so weird, but it should work. There we go. Back to the manuals now. This one is super hard. Try to get enough speed, pop up that. We'll see if I can get it done on this bike. Oh, getting there. I think that still counts, right? You can pump around this bull pretty much like a pump track. Being a hardtail really carries speed and pumps well. So I think we'll head to the pump track next. Well, I put some work in on our pump track and got one good session in before it snowed, melted, rained, froze, thawed, and just turned into a muddy mess. So haven't been able to ride it since, but I came to the closest concrete pump track that we have. Unfortunately, it's a bit wet, but it still should be a good amount of fun. The first thing I noticed about this pump track is how steep the rollers were. It's taken some getting used to. It kind of keeps you from going too fast, but also gives you plenty of speed. And this bike, being a hardtail, pumps really well. So speed is definitely not an issue today, especially with how slick it is. It's actually a little bit sketchy. Slid the tires a couple times, so can't get too crazy, but hopefully at least get some good manuals in. First manual challenge, cross this little flat turn. Oh, not first try. There we go. And down. Pretty sweet feeling. Going this direction, I think I can add a little manual in to nose, then up to rear. Got to get the corner though. Kind of like that. Okay, I might as well go to the real challenge here and try to manual all of these. There's a slight turn in it, so it's going to be tough, especially with how steep they are. Hopefully, I got them figured out well enough to make it happen. Wow, that was a little sketchy. Slid the rear tire in the manual somewhere in the middle there, but I got to take that. That was sweet. Okay, I'm going to keep this session at the pump track pretty short, but hopefully it shows how fun this bike is pretty much ever. Oh my! Oh. Well, it was fun besides that anyway. That's why I didn't want to try this manual while I was talking, <laughs> but it worked so well the two times before that last second I went for it. But anyway, as I was saying, hopefully this shows how versatile this bike is. This is the third video I've done doing Lots of different stuff on it, so hopefully you guys enjoyed checking it out from racing to pump track to trials. But if there's anything else you want to know about it or see on it, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.